All right, guys, quick update here with the uh, Pygirl Zero Plus. Um, so this large 3.2 inch screen, um, it had multiple uh, GPIO outputs, the 40 pin and the smaller, I believe it was like a 26 or something. But we, we removed that in the original video, as you can see. I had a problem on this one and actually a couple people on the forums had the same problem where uh, they couldn't clip this without keeping the original inputs. So it ended up, I have the same problem on this next build I had. Um, they all unclipped. So what we're gonna do is I took a, um, a 90 degree pen that I had, I got from Adafruit, and it was actually both pins face the same direction. Let me get a better angle here. So both pins actually face that way. I took the pins out, I just pulled them out with a, with a set of uh, pliers, pulled them out, turned them, put them back in, and then I crunched them all down. So the goal here would be to um, then replace this, uh, place this down, clip the edges on the one side because they're a little long on that side. But basically place this down right here, clip them that you need, you know, so you get the length correct, and then uh, solder it back down. And then you have a brand new uh, male version of the 40 pin that you can use for your build. So I know some people have had this problem. I am having the same issue. Um, it's just not a, uh, it's not as easy to do with this board just because of the fact that it had that female pin on top. So this should be a good solution. I'll do an update here on the same video to show people how it works. All right, so here we go. Like I said, we took this 90 degree pin. We turned one side of all the pins the other direction. So they're both facing 180 degrees. I don't think there's something from Adafruit you can buy that has pins going the opposite direction. I'll take a look and see, but I think the only thing you can get is a 90 degree pen to switch around and make it both go the other way. So as you can see here, I've soldered both sides of the, uh, I'm trying to get the light better down here. I'll try it. Uh, so both sides of the GPIO have been soldered. You can see here really close. We soldered that to the, the connection points. And then we also soldered that to those connection points too. Little, it's a little, you know, it's a little off kilter. You can see it doesn't. Uh, you can see it doesn't fit like that. But it doesn't. Once you get in the case, it doesn't matter because this is not exposed and it isn't going to affect with any other parts in the case. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it finished up, and then I'll wire it up, and it should work fine. So that's kind of the solution of how to handle your GPO GPIO port issue if they, by chance, come loose from the 3.2 inch screen. Got this uh, Pygirl Zero hooked up to this 3.2 inch screen. Like I said, I had to basically remove all of the uh, pins because they started to break away from the LCD. So I used that custom uh, pin set that was 90 degrees. I did have some issues. It wasn't turning on, but um, I took a little bit of the solder out. I think I had two of these solder connections on the screen that were touching or something. So got that resolved. Um, screen works fine. You can see here. Um, you can't really see I'm protecting the screen right now, but you can see in the background um, Emulation stations running perfectly. So that's your solution for uh, If these break way too easy for you get one of those 90 degree connectors In fact before you even start the project I Just buy one. They're really cheap. They're like a buck or so just get one when you order all the rest of your parts That way you at least have it on hand. So if you do break them when you're tediously cutting them um, you can at least remove it and then put something on there to, to fix it. So 